Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. Back behind me, we have my box Chevy Caprice and we put some 24 inch wheels on it in the last video. She needs help. She needs help braking. She needs help cooling. Probably needs some help with some gear. Um, so we got some upgrades coming. We've got Hot Rod Power Tour 2023 coming. We're gonna hit a couple days of it. I really like to hit all of it, but I just don't have the time for that. Um, so we're gonna hit maybe the first couple days on the 24s, I want it to do everything right. I mean, it's fine, it cruises good and everything, but it, it's a 305, really needs a gear. I mean, it needs some help. So we're gonna get there. Um, today we're gonna do dual electric cooling fans. Started out trying to run a Mopar pre-assembled deal. I've had good luck with that. I've ran like the Camaro LS1 fans. LT1 fans, they were kind of universal and fit everything, but I don't have any more. We ended up with an aluminum fan shroud. We'll get into that later in the video. Um, dual 12 inch fans, and we're gonna get into doing the controller. We'll do that in the next video. But anyways, we'll get the fans mounted, shroud modified. I mean, it's it, we're gonna make short of it, but it's a good video. Before we get into that, if you guys could, like and subscribe for me. Greatly appreciate as many as we have. I'd like to start climbing a little more, and it's my fault. I need to get more videos out, and I know that. Guys, appreciate you bearing with me. Let's get into uh, cooling this thing down a little bit. As I've seen under the hood of this thing before, if you haven't, go check out some of the other videos. I will uh, tag them below in the description. I think this thing is all stock under the hood. So we have got to take that fella out of the way and just get the clutch fan off. I don't realize how bad a shape this shroud is in, but we've got a couple different bolts. We've got two straight down here, same on this side, and then just a couple across the top. Get those zipped out real quick. This might be a little tricky. Nah. Couple, couple, there are four studs on the water pump with nuts on them holding the clutch fan on. I'm just going to take the clutch fan off and replace the nuts there. Here's that. So we can't do just the nuts back on it. There's a shoulder on the stud. So we'll get some washers for that. The shroud is out. So we got the fan off and the new fasteners. The shroud, barely see it there, the lighting anyways, is an integral part of the radiator mounting. So at our handy dandy truck bed tailgate table here, I'm going to cut the lower shroud it's already broken i'm not cutting anything in good shape but this will allow me to keep the radiator factory location we'll just go down through here and we're going to cut across and that still leaves the pads that the radiator sits on on the radiator support anyways let's get to hacking this thing up and i'll get it back in the car all right so here we are we went from trash to treasure basically we cut the fan shroud bell off of the bottom fan shroud and now we're just using it basically to uh, hold the radiator well guys we are at a stopping point i've spent a couple minutes closer to about an hour and a half trying to figure out how i could attach this factory plastic setup to the factory well not factory but the aftermarket radiators in the car and it is not it's not worth the time so what we've done is we've ended up with this from summit um, this is a frostbite performance unit. Never heard of them before. It's a really nicely made setup. I tried a couple local places. Nobody wants to work bending metal, sheet metal. I don't blame them because I don't want to do it either. This is about $70 shipped to my door. Um, it fits the, the aluminum replacement radiator quite well. I've had to drill a couple holes. We'll get into that. It does hold two 12 inch fans, which is going to be plenty for this car. And it, does, it is gonna look cool. I'm gonna have it powder coated uh, black so it kind of blacks out underneath the hood. Let's get to putting this thing in. We've got our lower radiator support mount already back in the car. Basically, we've got a screw down there in the lower support for the fins, I guess. 
Same screw over here. We're gonna do the same thing across the top there. Line those up on that lower bolt hole. A little bit of clamping force and we'll drill some holes. I'll say for $70, that looks pretty dang good. I think it'll look really nice. I'm gonna put the top. I cut the top shroud too, so I'll have a nice cover for that. Matter of fact, let's set that on there. It does not look awful at all. Those fans are gonna look good. Look how much space. Yeah, that looks really nice. Okay, let's get ready to stick the fans in the shroud now. I gotta get some fasteners for that, so we'll run to Ace. Get the fasteners, I'll be right back. All right, so we've got the shroud back off the car. I'm gonna get these fans situated on here. Try to center up, square them up best we can. So after some mats, we're getting where we need to be. Bear with me. Beautiful. One down. Easy enough. Should not be a perfectionist about this, but this is what we're doing. That's not a good one. Lost parts. Found some parts. You ever just lose parts in plain sight? Okay. Back on track. Let's measure this wrong one last time and we'll drill some holes. Make sure to mess it up permanently. Shoot, right on the money. Okay, let's drill some holes. Doesn't it look good though? This looks fancy. Like it might need a LS engine behind it. All right, let's drill some holes. Uh oh. Yeah, it was loud, sorry about that. I got that. Make sure you wear your safety glasses. Now that I talk trash, you better get money. up real quick. This one. All right, peel this off here and we're gonna melt the fans back up. Make sure everything was measured incorrectly and uh, then take it back apart, take it to powder coat. Got some other stuff taking the powder coat also. Some upcoming videos. This is not as satisfying as I expected it to be. It's kind of a pre-assembly. I'm not gonna Loctite anything. I'll Loctite it when I final assembly on everything here. To make sure it all fits and works. All right, guys, so we're really gonna class this thing up. We've got a couple wire clamps here. Just gonna kind of fit everything together. The controller is gonna be on the passenger side. So we'll run everything over that way, but we'll do it. These make it look good. 
All right, one thing I'd recommend doing before putting all your wiring, situating it how you want it, is check how the fans blow uh, based on the wire color. I just have a boost box, a couple wire leads. And that one does what we want it to do based on the colors. If I didn't check this, it would be backwards, so better to check it now than later. So we're good to go. So we've got our wiring finished up. Basically just kind of extended it. We've got about four feet of lead here. Same for both fans. But that turned out awesome. I am really happy with that. It definitely looks a lot better than what we were gonna try to use. Well, there she is. Last time being mocked up. I've got to take it all back apart now and have that shroud powder coated. But man, it turned out good. Look how much room. Well guys, that was the fan install. We've got a couple more things going on. I've still got to put the controller and wire it in the car. I'll have that video right after this one. Just didn't want to turn this video into a 30 minute video for no good reason. So we'll move over to putting the controller in and we've got some other stuff coming up uh, for the Hot Rod Power Tour prep and maybe about two more jobs, a pretty good size. So follow along. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe for me, please. It helps me out tremendously. Um, and I really want this channel to take off. Any help I can get with that would be awesome. So guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day.